To Cyrus, can you tell me something positive? My day has been horrible. Well, I can. Uh, I can definitely tell you something positive. But let me do a stretch because I gotta like get that chi. Ugh, ugh. Okay, first thing first, you wanna start out by telling me your day, like what happened? Just uh you know, go as like detail as possible or if you wanna like just cover the broad strokes you can do that too. And I'm gonna see how I can make you you know something positive. But what I really believe is that the number one thing whenever you are feeling very negative or you're not feeling very good is you have to accept that whatever bad thing happened today happened for a reason and it happened because it happened because like it there's no other way it could have happened any differently your dog passed suddenly yo i know how that feels i have a dog and he died and he also passed away suddenly I can tell you how to get over it because I, I lost my dog. I was really sad. I was quite heartbroken. Sineki, say so you got your free games for November. Yeah. Okay. So let me get back to Fisaru, right? So my, my dog passed away suddenly and he passed away when I wasn't even at home. I got a call from my mom letting me know that my dog gone, right? So the way I think about it is like, I always knew my dog was going to go one day. I mean, it's a natural part of life, especially if you have a pet. Your pets don't live as long as you do. But the way the way I look at it is like, my dog was going to die anyway, whether I like it or not. But the thing that was great was the fact that he lived with my family and me. And he had a great life, right? We, he never went hungry. Um, he always gets lots of love. And I always think about like what he experienced in real life. And I, I try to think about like the dogs that were never adopted or there's a lot of stray dogs outside and they spend days going hungry and they spend days being really sad and having no one to love them and um, having to fight for their lives. So when I compare that to what my dog went through, and even though he passed away, I suddenly felt better, right? So I think like what you can do to make yourself feel better is to think this way and also maybe donate some money or donate some of your time to a, a dog shelter, you know? And it helps you remember like, actually, you know what? My dog passed away comfortably at home. Or even if your dog didn't pass away comfortably, right? Something happened and your dog died, right? Your dog had a good life overall, right? Like, I think like the moment your dog dies, it, it is, it is a horrible moment, but you should never let that moment overwhelm the memory of your dog, right? Your dog just didn't die. Your dog had a life. Your dog, was cool your dog was your friend he was happy he got to eat he got to be with your family so like him dying in that short moment that negative feeling shouldn't overwhelm the overall positive feeling and i can say something else that will make you even better your dog is actually not dead i believe that the soul or at least the consciousness is infinite your your dog's consciousness your dog had your dog is basically um a being of consciousness his soul came from somewhere his soul came from god his soul came from the galaxy and he was just like you know that that soul was put into your dog and one day the body will expire but we never die death is an illusion we all return back to the source or we get reincarnated. Our bodies are just skin suits. We are all basically just astronauts on this planet, right? And you're like, your dog is not dead. His body is dead, but his soul has gone somewhere. If you really believe in a soul, because like I used to be the type of guy that, like I, I used to, to think like when someone is dead, they're really dead, right? Um, it means that 
you know, they don't have any more consciousness, you know, they're gone. But that's bullshit. The more I studied ancient civilizations and I study ancient cultures like the Egyptians, the Sumerians, people that have invented and built amazing structures like the pyramids that we can't even replicate, you don't think they know more about the afterlife than us? They know more shit than us. They know where we are going. They know where we've been. And in their opinion, right, death is an illusion. We are only all here on this earth temporarily. And whatever like vehicle that you have right now, which is your body or your dog's body, your dog's consciousness was just using your dog's body. And one day the body is going to fail, but the consciousness live on forever. Death is an illusion. And you know what's even crazier? I'm going to tell you something that is going to sound really fucking wild, but I do believe this. And I do have evidence, but I can't show you every single evidence because we will be sitting here for three hours, right? There will come a time where you will meet your dog again. You guys will be separated for a short time. Like he's gone, you're not. But one day your consciousness will, will meet his consciousness. But the amazing thing is like you wouldn't be in your body and he wouldn't be obviously in his body. But your consciousness will eventually reunite and he will remember you and you will remember him. Yeah. Did Cyrus says I have a lot of animals. He was a street dog that was adopted. He was four. He was way too young, but it happened quick. I mean, it couldn't have gone any other way. That's what I believe in. I, I believe there is like... Things in life happen suddenly, but they all have a step-by-step -step process to how it happens. It's kind of like the universe, in my opinion, runs on a domino effect, right? Like if I... So let me give you an example, right? See this pen right here? If I drop this pen, where does it go? It, it just falls down, right? Everything in this universe has a trajectory. It's not a coincidence you're in my chat. It's not a coincidence I'm here. It's also not a coincidence when, you know, someone we love dies. There's everyone has like a destiny, right? Everyone is like moving one step closer to their deaths. The only difference is you don't know when that time is going to be, right? So when it happens, it's usually a shock. You should feel sad. You should feel shocked, but you have to like understand that there is nothing you could have done to stop it. It was always going to happen, right? Just like you being in my chat right now was always going to happen, right? Me streaming today was always going to happen. So the good and bad things that happen in your life, you have to accept it. It, all, it, it is always going to happen. The day your dog was born, there was a timer where he would have to go at four because of the way the universe tumbles, like a domino effect, right? Things are gonna happen. And the only thing you have left is to kind of understand why they happen and to learn to accept it. Chrysaris says, I agree with what you're saying partially. I'm not religious, but I'm slightly spiritual in an uncontrolled way. I, I'm not religious either. Uh, I grew up with very religious parents. Uh, I grew up like questioning God. Um, I didn't believe in God. Um, I didn't believe in spirits. I didn't believe in ghosts. Um, but it, only when I got older and I started learning about ancient civilizations and esoteric knowledge. And I realized that there was like more to our universe and our reality than what, you know, um, we are led to believe right so i have a lot of answers actually and I, I know it's really tough for you to believe me but i can say for a fact that your dog is not really dead his consciousness is still around you know i i don't like to use the word soul because i i don't really have a way to prove that it's in the form of a soul but i know for a fact that consciousness exists i can i can give you like a really good example, right? And you can go do this re research on your own. So many years ago, when Oprah Winfrey wasn't really um, big yet, she had a television show, 
right? She would invite all types of people to um, talk to them, right? She invited this mom who told this amazing story of how she was driving over a bridge with her daughter in the back seat. And her daughter was only two to three years old, you know? And her daughter spoke in full sentences and said like, Mama, this is where I died. And her mom was like, what do you mean? Right? And you say, oh, I was driving a car. I was pushing the right pedal. And I, you know, I, I died here. Right? And I, my head was against the rocks. Like, think about it. How does a two or three year old know the mechanics of a car or how a car even moves? And then like, um, the, the kid said like, oh, you know, my mama was really sad. And her current mom said like, wait, I am your mom. And she said, no, not you, my other mom. So that's proof of reincarnation. That's a lot of stories where people get reincarnated. And it obviously it leads to a bigger conspiracy that there's this thing called the reincarnation trap. And whenever you die, you should never head into the light because it takes, it, it wipes your memory and you get reborn, right? The reason why we are all on this planet is because of a bigger agenda. And, um, the consciousness doesn't die. The body dies, but the consciousness lives on. So your dog's consciousness could be anywhere. It could be with the galaxy. It could be reunited with God. Or your dog could potentially be reborn again, only to die and be released again. So the consciousness is infinite. No consciousness ever dies. We are like innately within us we are we are like immortal beings our consciousness is like we are beings of light you know like a lot of times people associate with their bodies like you know this is my identity uh this is like you know i i'm asian i was born in this country i was i have this religion um i'm a gamer i'm 33 years old all those are just identities that you adopted your consciousness is pure. It doesn't have any of those identities. And when you die, your consciousness, you know, is free from your ego, is free from who you think you are. So I hope that makes you feel better. Cause that's, you know, I had to, I had to also like come to terms with my dog dying. I think like what is sad and what you'll probably miss the most is you probably miss having him around. You know, like whenever people die, you know, like it's sad that you can't hang out with them anymore. But the thing that is comforting, in my opinion, is like they're never really gone. Their consciousness lives on. And you have to trust me on this because I did a lot of research and I, I, I can break it down to you. I can break it down for you, but it's going to take a lot of time unless you are willing to listen.